my skincare and sunscreen this morning because I wanted to show um, how my skin is doing. I wanted to do an updated skincare routine morning and night. Um, I think the last time I did this was like August full of last year and I've cycled through so many different products since then. I won't bore you with all of them, um, but I wanted to show you what my skincare routine looks like right at this moment because it's always changing based on influencers reviews, um, Instagram, people that I follow, YouTubers that I follow. Um, I love to hear what's working for them and people with similar skin types to mine. So if you have a similar skin type to mine, um, which is dry and kind of acne prone, um, not as much as um, when I was a teenager, which I'm thankful for, but I do get a couple um, pimples or acne every once in a while, mainly when I'm wearing a mask or something like that. But if you have similar skin to mine, which is like pores, like very visible pores like I do, um, acne scars, which I have from acne, like I said, as a teen. And if you have dry skin like mine, I know it looks a little shiny right now, but that's because I just spritz myself with some glow recipe like mist just to liven myself up again. And I also just went on the treadmill, so probably a little hot and sweaty as well from that. Like I said, I kind of want to tell you what my updated skincare routine is now right at this moment. And then also like some hits and misses from products that I've tried in the last couple months that really didn't work for me and what I've fallen back on and what I've repurchased over and over again. So um, basically for washing my face in the morning and at night, I'm still using the La Roche-Posay um, Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. So it'll focus, yep. This is actually my backup. It is totally full. I have a, another one that I'm using in the bathroom and I have a backup already. That is just perfect for my um, dry skin. It's super hydrating. Um, it's thicker, which I prefer, and I'll get into that later because um, I feel like my skin does really well with thicker products. I know that it'll, in one of my previous videos, I might have said, oh, I'm trying some gel-like cleansers or gel-like uh, moisturizers, but they really are not my thing. I'm realizing that oilier, thinner, gel-like textures are just not my thing. Like, I don't see them like penetrating my skin very well for some reason I feel like me in particular in my dry skin I need like a like thick creams if that makes sense and that's a really good cleanser it's thick it's creamy but it's super hydrating as well um I will go in with that and every um couple days if I feel like my ne my skin needs it I've picked up the Tatcha rice polish in deep now i think the teal line is for like oily skin um and then the purple line is more for dry skin to get like a dewier complexion so although i feel like the teal if you know tatcha they have like the white line the teal line the like bluey line as well um and the purple line um range whatever you want to call it of products I think this is in the oil like for oily skin but I got this because it's deep like it penetrates deep it's an exfoliant I'm sorry if I didn't say that it's um, a powder that sorry if you can hear the motorcycles it's the weekend so the motorcycles are out um, anyway it's a powder a rice powder that you pour into your hand you get it a little bit wet you get your skin wet because your skin should have or to be wet from cleansing your face and then you put it over all your skin and it exfoliates. It turns into a foam. It's lovely. I do want to quickly mention that I'm, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, but I'm of course still using the Glow Recipe Papaya Enzyme Cleansing Balm if I'm wearing makeup. Even if I'm not and I've sweated a lot that day get my to get my sunscreen off, I will go in with this. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, I will still go in with this every once in a while, but especially if I'm wearing makeup, I will use this first to get the base layer of makeup off, cleanser, and then exfoliate. Um, something I wanted to mention, and that I've been using since my last video, are these little wrist cuffs. They come in many different colors. They're just from Amazon, I'll link them below. But they're awesome because um, the way I would wash my face is water would get all the way down 
my arm and in my elbow and even up to my like shoulder. I don't know how it would do that, but it would get all over the sink, all over me and be an absolute mess every time. So I found these on Amazon. They soak up the water. You just put them on your wrist and they're good for a couple days. They get a little wet and then you just use another one. Super machine washable. I wash them. My mom has washed them several times and they come out super fluffy and clean again. So next in both the morning and night routine is the toner. Um, last time I was using the Glow Recipe um, watermelon toner and I switched it up. So I'm going through my bag of, of makeup, or not makeup, my bag of skincare that I've taken from my bedside table and brought it over here in the living room. Um, so ignore the noise there, but I'm going through this to try and get to my toner. This, the watermelon pore tight toner from Glow Recipe. And the reason I have this in a box here is because I deviated and I went to the Tatcha Texture Tonic, again in the teal range. I think it is more for olive, not olive, um, for oily tone, oily type skin. But um, again, it's really like heavy duty and for balancing and resurfacing treatment with niacinamide, niacinamide fruit AHAs um, and calming Japanese mugwort extract. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, so again, I thought it was heavy duty. It would help like strip my skin and in a good way, hopefully, and retexture it. I haven't noticed a massive um, difference in retexture because um, I'll still like use makeup and notice the texture there that's when I notice it the most and I still put it in my little bottle that I showed in the last video to help me because for me if I were to pour this into my hand personally with my limited range of motion it would just fall off and I would not be able to get onto my skin very well so I put it in this little reusable bottle and spritz it on my face and I waste a lot less personally. First con is that I don't see a massive difference. I guess I'm kind of jumping around, sorry, to my hits and misses. Um, I thought I'd do all my hit, hits first and misses after, but anyway, I'm just bouncing around here, sorry. Um, basically, first con, like I said, is I don't see a massive difference in texture. Things are a little bit smoother, but I see, I like to see a difference when I wear makeup and hope that my makeup stays better, and I don't see a lot of texture when I wear makeup, and I didn't really see a massive difference. I still saw texture, unfortunately, um, on my skin in certain places, so I didn't see a massive difference there. And B, it ran out a lot faster than my pore tight toner. I was using the exact same amount, you know, a couple spritz, spritzes every night and morning, and the other pore tight toner lasted way longer, like I would say four or five months, and this lasted maybe two or three, so it's not a massive difference, but I just feel like it, you know, this is empty and this is nearly gone and it's only been like two or three months which maybe is normal but my whole bottle of the pore tight toner lasted the last one lasted so much longer so in the sale um i knew that i was running out of the tatcha one so in the sale the spring sale at sephora i got myself another pore tight toner so as soon as the touch is done i'm going to be refilling it and going back to this because i felt a massive difference in like pore size in the glow and radiance of my skin i feel like it did a lot more for the money and for how much tatcha is i was expecting like miracles no offense something that's in my routine super super recently so i can't talk about it in depth and i haven't seen a massive difference but i love it so far is the glow recipe strawberry smooth bha aha salicylic serum and i'm and i bought this because it's meant to retexturize. So again, I want things that will smooth out my bumpy, um, uneven skin tone or skin texture, I should say, um, from past acne marks and things like that and the texture that I just have naturally on my skin. Um, so I bought this not necessarily because I have a lot of acne. I do occasionally if I wear the mask for a long time or um, eat unhealthily or something. So I did get it for that, but I mainly got it for the retexturizing, smoothing properties that it boasts. So um, again, not a massive difference, but it smells incredible. I love the Glow Recipe 
um, brand in and of itself. Not everything works for me. I will say at the end, a few things that didn't work for me. But so far, this is incredible. It smells incredible. I have seen a little bit difference in the smoothness, but um, I, I hope it's this, you know. I'm pretty sure it's this because this is the only newest thing I've introduced into my routine. I use this morning and night, right after toner, I should say. Um, but in the morning, I go from thinnest to thickest, and I use this before this before that because this is a little thinner. This is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. It's translucent and luminous, so it's meant to give you glass skin. I'm not sure if I, um, ooh, there we go. If I mentioned it too much in my last video, or even if it wasn't my last video, if it's that new, I had a little bottle. This is the Jumbo. Um, I think they were having a sale at uh, Ulta. That's where I bought it. So I bought the Jumbo. I don't see like drastic, drastic differences with this, but I love that it boasts glass luminous skin. So I'm hoping this combined with all my other like brightening, glowy products, this is going to give me like, you know, that glass like skin and help in my makeup application as well. So it is supposed to help with pores. So it's to luminize your skin. It's translucent and it visibly brightens, firms, hydrates and calms. A revolutionary cocktail of peach extract, niacinamide, wild yam, peptides and hyaluronic acid delivers skin that looks noticeably smoother. So, oh yeah, smoother, firmer and more luminous. So crystal clear glass skin is yours. So, I mean, it boasts a lot of things. It has a lot of things in it. It's, it's super thin like water but you can see the luminosity when you put it on. It's super glowy. Um, I feel like this, again, with the niacinamide and hyaluronic acid is such like, uh, even though I don't see a immediate or noticeable difference right away, I feel like it's helping all my other products because it has niacinamide in it, it has hyaluronic acid and all these other peptides to like calm down my skin. You know, I'm looking in the viewfinder right now, you're just on my phone. Um, in the front facing camera and I can see you know still like the redness and the skin like uneven skin tone uneven skin texture and all that stuff and I'm not loving it but I'm hoping you know that's why I use all these things to um, get my skin to where I want it with all these products something else mainly in the morning but something else that I use um, in the morning is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops for ultimate glow and brightness. This, I think, is my fourth or fifth. I wouldn't be surprised if it's my sixth bottle. There we go. It's in focus. It is absolutely beautiful. I will never stop buying this, you know, until my skin is, like, absolutely perfect. But that's never, you know, without procedures, it's, that's not going to happen. But, you know, this is my, you know sixth bottle or something and it is incredible this i do see a noticeable difference in my skin um when i put it on between before and after it gives me that super super dewy glowy look and i absolutely love it um this is like actually transform my skin so i will never stop buying this and because of that <laughs> in the sale in the sephora sale i have a couple um drops left I bought myself a backup already so I have backups ready to go the second I finish that so excited again something that was a miss well no I wouldn't say a miss but like I didn't see a massive difference or even much of a difference I have to say I'm sorry the peach and lily power cocktail lactic acid repair serum serum it's supposed to lift repair and resurface with 10% lactic acid and 12 ac active extracts. I've been talking for like half an hour now. So I bought it in the Sephora, no, in the Ulta sale. Um, I think it was in like 21 Days of Beauty or I think I had a coupon or some money off or something. But anyway, I bought it fairly recently. A, it's, al it's almost gone. So that's annoying. It didn't last very long for something that I just used at night. And B, I didn't see a huge difference. I didn't see much of anything. I mean, maybe it was doing something that I didn't know in the background and maybe I'll miss it when it's gone. But honestly, 
Um, I think my skin can handle a lot and needs a lot. Um, I don't know why, but I think it does. And although this is pretty powerful with 10% lactic acid, I feel like my skin needs, sorry for the motorcycle. Um, I feel like my skin needs either something more heavy duty or just maybe it didn't respond to this for some reason. Um, just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's gonna like, I, I expected it to like to work freaking miracles if it's so expensive and this was. The Peach and Lily is reasonable but for being an Ulta but still kind of expensive. So I won't be repurchasing this. Unfortunately, I would repurchase the glass skin though because I feel like that's doing a lot in the background and would be, you know, continue to buy that. That's why I bought the Jumbo one because I knew that it would last a while and I would repurchase that one when I run out because I feel like it's helping in the background to give my skin that glass skin like glow from from within and it has so many powerful ingredients inside. That's that. Um, another one that was bloody expensive um bought in either the sale or with a coupon or something but i got the dr dennis gross texture renewal serum with advanced retinol and ferulic acid i think and this is this was based on the recommendation of khaki um khaki reviews beauty here on youtube um based on her recommendation but although it is like one percent um, retinol, I feel like, again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, I feel like my skin can take a lot and needs a lot. So I've researched what is the highest potency retinol that you can buy, and it's the Sunday Riley A plus something something, I'll put it on the screen here, with like 5 or 6% retinol, and I feel like I want to buy that one, but it's like $70, $80 or something, with or like $120 for the full size. So I've already bought a lot recently. I'm gonna slow my roll and like not buy it right away because I, I think I still have a couple drops left in here plus the travel size I can use. But I feel like my skin needs it. My skin needs the retinol to completely resurface all of these acne scars and these hyperpigmentation pieces and all this stuff like that. So I'm gonna go for a higher retinol, but this one, again, for how much it is I know retinol needs to be used over the course of like you know months and months to a year or more to really see a difference but for high for how you know potent I thought it was it just wasn't doing a lot for me so I'm not gonna waste my money on something that I don't see um, a difference a difference in my skin you know so that's another thing I won't be repurchasing saving myself some money yes but I might buy something more expensive so I'll let you know how that goes if I buy the Sunday Riley one. I'm kind of going out of order I think kind of with um the order that I put these in I'm on my face I'm so sorry but the rule for me if you're if I'm jumping around and going out of order is gonna be thinnest to thickest um so it can absorb in my skin the best and then oils last obviously moisturizers last and sunscreen last in the morning if that makes sense so if i am skipping around too much in terms of texture and not explaining when and in what order i put these on my face i'm so sorry to confuse you it is going to be thinnest to thickest so if you're if you do go out and buy some of these things just remember whatever order you do is going to be thinnest to thickest okay so again sorry for jumping around um next i want to say I'm so sorry for all these things that, you know, I'm not going to be repurchasing, but will be using up, obviously, and TerraCycling, if possible, is the Peach and Lily Transparency Pro Spot Treatment to Brighten and Erase. Again, I I do see a difference with this. I'm not going to lie. Oh, come on, focus. I do see some difference slightly, but, but... I would have recommended, I do recommend this, I really do. It has a really um, a high concentration of vitamin C, 20% vitamin C and camellia extract, I think I'm saying that right. Um, it has a really high potency. I might repurchase this one day and I would have, and I'm still gonna use it, but hear me out. Personally, my skin, I feel like needs 
with how dry it is or how dry it can get and dehydrated it can get, I need thick, thick products personally. Super dewy, thick, moisturizing like products personally to make a difference in my skin. And I and I prefer them too. I prefer the the thicker things. Um, the thicker serums and moisturizer and products and stuff. So this is an oil. Um, I will open it here for you. I'm gonna pump it and put it in there. See, it's an oil inside, which I don't mind. I never totally fell in love with, but I put up with it because it was super, it's a super high potency of vitamin C. Now I would never, I think I would repurchase this, but something I found recently based on a um, Instagram influencer's suggestion actually, um, is the Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiant Serum Complexion Correcting. So it's Caudalie's own like invention, here we go, for vitamin C. It's like their own brand or something. I don't know how to explain it, but I'll put just like with everything else, that I think I've done in post is I put all the benefits on the screen that each item claims. So just like that, I'll put it on the screen here as well for you, but it's like Caudalie's own concoction. It's not vitamin C, but it's like their own um, invention. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, I've used this for a couple weeks now. Again, got it in, in the Sephora sale with a bit of a discount because it's kind of expensive. But oh my gosh, I've actually seen a difference with this more than I've seen with this. A, because like I'm not in love with the texture that it is an oil, so you have to use it last. Oils always go last because nothing can penetrate. You don't want to use it first even though it's thin because if you put an oil on first, nothing else will be able to penetrate through that. So a lot of these things have a water base or have water in them oil and water like repel. So from my understanding, you want to put these last, put this on last because nothing will, will be able to penetrate uh, through this. Um, but I'm going off tangent. This, I've actually seen a brightening effect in my skin personally. Um, I know I look a little hot and flustered right now and maybe a little shiny, but um, I don't think these lights are like doing justice. Um, I think, I mean, it's showing off a lot but I feel like I'm a little bit more red than normal just because I am talking and things like that. Um, but I do feel like on a regular basis without all these hot lights and stuff, um, yeah, I have seen a difference in my overall skin tone and evening out with this, which is so shocking for how short of a time I've used this, but I do, I would recommend this. Um, and try to use like get it at the sale and things like that but I have seen a massive difference and it is a cream it is a little I will open it and show you it hasn't like a dropper kind of like that kind of like that one but it's like a milky like a milky texture like that which I much prefer uh let's go into eyes under eyes something I've been loving um and got I think in one of the days of the Ulta sale, 21 days of beauty sale, is the Tula Skincare Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. I love this because there's no scooping, there's no wiping, there's no anything. It is all in one bottle. It is all, I'll show you. I gotta remember the little cap is in here to keep it fresh, but you just twist it up. I've used a lot of this, so I have to twist it kind of a lot, and then you twist it all the way up and you just wipe it under your eyes. I love that for somebody with limited range of motion, um, limited dexterity, etc. Um, it's perfect, no scooping, no trying to get in the corners. Um, it's all in one bottle or one little stick. It doesn't irritate my eyes at all. I can put it all over, it'd be fine. And it's meant to, like I said, um, brighten and cool. So it has a wonderful cooling effect. I do love that and like, it does tighten and brighten the under eyes, which I love. And I've been using this for a really long time. Obviously you can tell it's like down to like here now or whatever, and it was up here. So I've used it for quite a while and I still have a lot left. I love that, um, that it lasts a while. It's kind of, in, it's pretty inexpensive. And if you get it on sale, it's even more inexpensive, which I love. 
Ulta how always has a lot of coupons and sales if you're part of their rewards program for free. Um, but something that I I'm kind of phase I'm kind of phasing this out a little bit because um, although that does leave a lovely cooling, um, shiny, bright feeling under the eyes, um, I won't stop using that. I'll use it up and maybe get another one if pot, if it's you know on sale and stuff is I've kind of researched what I tried to like research again um what is best for discoloration because I absolutely hate the dark purpley brown under uh circles that I have uh, the dark circles I should say that I have under my eyes I was using the ordinary caffeine solution at five percent for a really long time, but I wasn't seeing a lot of difference in the color under my eye, unfortunately. And although caffeine works really well at like brightening and depuffing, A, it's an oil, which I don't feel like, I mean, my skin is absorbing, but I feel like it wasn't absorbing as well. I feel like it just sat on top of the skin a lot of the times and got wiped away by other things. And B, although my problem might be partly depuffing and I need my eyes to like look brighter and you know less puffy and and stuff like that, I feel like the color is my biggest issue as you can see the purpley brown like super dark dark circles into my eyes like you know that I look like I got punched half the time. I hate it. Um I like I don't like that. And obviously the only thing that's gonna like really really help that is probably a procedure of some kind that I don't want to get or dermatological thing like maybe fillers or other things I'm not sure which I'm not gonna do is um vitamin c like vitamin c is gonna be like the only thing that really is gonna like actively help with the discoloration on any part of your skin and the most highly rated on Sephora and a lot of the articles and blogs that I've read and videos that I've watched is the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream uh, Vitamin C and Collagen Boosted. So I was hesitant to get this because um, I got a sample pack of this um, maybe a year ago or more in uh, like checkout at Sephora and it really stung my eyes so it immediately put me off um and stung my eyes got in my eyes was not friendly towards me at all um so i just completely outlawed it from my memory and just like was like no i'm never gonna go back but this really was the only thing that a lot of people in the reviews a lot of people on blogs a lot of people in videos and on Instagram and stuff really said like actually changed their life and changed the coloration of their dark circles because it has vitamin C again all the like medical blogs that I was reading and medical articles that I was reading um say that although caffeine will depuff and other things can help brighten and tighten like retinol and things like that can help in like incrementally with wrinkles and other things my problem is the purpleness and the brownness and the discoloration and the hyperpigmentation. I don't know if you would call it that, but um, that stuff on my eyes and under my eyes. So I'm giving this another go. I've used this for a couple days now. It has not stung my eyes. So obviously if it did, I would immediately return it and stuff like that and not talk about it. But it hasn't stung my eyes yet. Um, I've steered clear of like the inner corners and made sure not to get it around my eye and just do it kind of underneath and pat it in. Um, I'm really hoping that I do see a difference after a long use. So I will keep you guys updated with that. Um, and I probably won't be repurchasing the caffeine dropper from Ordinary, even though it is really inexpensive. My problem really isn't about deep puffing and things like that. So I don't feel like it's doing a lot. I don't love the oily texture personally, so I won't be repurchasing that. I would repurchase this when I run out just for the effect of, just for the cooling effect, I should say, and um, the instant like brightness and tightness that it gives. Let's go on to moisturizers. Um, in this Sephora sale, I got the 
value size of the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I feel like I've post, not posted, I feel like I have talked about this in my last video. Yeah, there we go. It's the value size, so it's really quite big. Um, but they just came out with that. It's, it's super thick and rich and creamy. I will open it for you and show you right now. But even though I talked about like a gel-like water style type moisturizer in my last one, again, not to be a broken record, but I feel like my skin does not do well at all with or doesn't absorb well the jelly like things. So here it's super moisturizing, super thick and whipped. There we go. Yeah, I absolutely love it. And it's meant to help with super dry skin like mine and it's dewy. Um, some people might feel like that's too thick for them or maybe too thick for them for the hot summer. I don't care. I still love it. I'd rather my skin be super dewy and hydrated than cakey and crackly and dry. Um, so a couple things I won't be repurchasing and are really like trying to phase out and use the rest of is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. Not that it didn't love it, but it is more of like a jelly texture has a similar texture to the niacinamide serum, is a little more serum-y, not my cup of tea. But if that is your cup of tea, if you love the niacinamide glow dew, watermelon dew drops, you might like this. If you want a moisturizer that smells the same, a moisturizer that does a lot of the same things, go for it. This could be your thing. It's more serum-y, it's a little more watery, it's a little thinner, anyway. I'm rambling, but not my cup of tea in terms of formulation. So I won't be repurchasing this and I'll try and tear a cycle or reuse the bottle because it's absolutely beautiful. This is the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Balm. So I still like this. I really do. I'm not gonna like say it's awful or bad, but it is just, it's, um, more of a gel-like texture. I'm gonna open it just like I did with the dew cream, the dewy cream. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it is more of a gel as you can see, and it is meant to be like that because it's, you know, the aqua bomb. It's like meant to be like watery and stuff, like a thick gel. But again, I don't feel like my skin does well with that or does much with that. It like can't be bothered. It's like I need, I need thick, thick cream like. For me in order for me to like do anything you know so i won't be repurchasing that i'm gonna use it up and that's it um same i won't go on forever about the things i'm not repurchasing but i just want to let you know something else that i got influenced to buy in the well it's a sale so luckily it was on sale but it's not my thing is the cosrx advanced snail 96 mucin power essence um can be used as a moisture moisturizer but and as an essence as well and any part of your routine it is snail byproduct or whatever snail mucin um a korean skincare brand i think and it's super sticky and gel like formulation yeah as you can see i haven't used a lot of it because it's not my thing the whole texture is not my thing i don't see a massive difference in my skin when I use it maybe it is doing something on the you know behind the scenes and um what's his name James Welsh here on YouTube he does boast about it a lot he's the skincare brother to the Welsh twins Robert Welsh I think is the makeup artist and James Welsh is the skincare guru of the bunch of the twin duo and he does recommend this highly I I feel like you should go watch his videos to see why he uses it, but I got super influenced to get it and I don't think my skin needs it, wants it, cares about it. Um, it doesn't do anything for me. I'm so sorry. Um, could work for you. Like I said, go watch his videos, see why it's good for his skin, but 
Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything for me. I'm so sorry. Um, I think I talked about this last time, the Biosance Sheer Mineral Sunscreen from Made with Squalene and Zinc. It's a broad, broad spectrum SPF 30. Anyway, point is, I this is my second model or maybe third. Uh, I had it back in August. I deviated and got the, uh, what's his name? Peter Thomas Roth? I think, yeah, I'll put it on the screen. The Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench, I think it's called the Water Drench SPF Moisturizer. I do love it. It was great. You know, had a moisturizing texture and feeling, but watery enough that it felt hydrating on the skin. I even got a sample and then got the full size because I loved it so much. But my tried and true is the Biosounce one. And I feel like now that I finished the water drench one and I had this as well in the background, um, I'm just gonna stick with this one because it doesn't, it never pills, it never leaves a white cast. It's perfect as my SPF and my moisturizer. It's incredible. In between this and my last video, I did try the Glow Recipe sunscreen and ultimately returned it because it pilled on my face so, so bad. And I tried so many different ways of using it, either with serums, without serums. I contacted Sephora for help as well. Um, and a bunch of people on, on Instagram and things like that. And it just... I could not find a way for it to work for my skin. I love most glow recipe things, but that just did not work for me. And ultimately I returned it. I felt bad because I don't know what they do with those things that are opened, but I just had to because it did not work for my skin and it was just not my thing. And lastly, but certainly not least, um, thank you so much for sticking around the whole freaking video if you did give it a thumbs up a like subscribe if you haven't already turn on notifications so you can be notified every time i post um thank you so much for your support if you stuck around um the last thing i wanted to mention oh second to last i just remembered i see something i see some things next to me that i didn't mention but second to last thing um i want to mention is the light stim for acne something i bought in the sale so i would definitely recommend getting a discount if you were to um purchase this either on the website or sephora get a discount because it's really quite expensive but i bought this on the recommendation of khaki reviews beauty again here on youtube and instagram i'll leave her handles on the screen and down below but she recommend recommended this several times and i totally got influenced it emits red and blue light to help with bacteria growth on your skin, to help with hyperpigmentation and the form of acne. And I will put all the other claims on the screen here, but I totally got influenced to buy it. If you use it long enough, it should help with um, hyperpigmentation, with texture, with acne scars, with the formation of acne hopefully you have less of it you can put it over an active spot and it will help clean out the bacteria with the blue light etc again all the claims will be listed on the screen now um because i can't hold all this like encyclopedia knowledge of of all these products in my head like khaki can unfortunately and the reason i say second to last is because i forgot to mention one of my like tried and true purchases that I even got a backup before I even finished my last box. Um, the Dr. Dennis Gross Extra Strength Daily Peel, Extra Strength Formula Two-Step Patented Peel. It does say for oily skin, but it's for imperfections, uneven tone or texture, wrinkles or enlarged pores. Yeah, that is exactly me. And I need, I feel like I do need the extra strength because my skin can handle it fortunately it doesn't it's not very sensitized which I'm fortunate for and it does need a lot to um, make an impact so if your skin can handle it you can get the extra strength um, in many different um, pack sizes this is the 
um, value size and super size value with 60 treatments. Um, if you want balanced, clear, bright, smooth skin and immediate radiance, I feel like with this one, you are actually like wiping away the texture. You're actively like cleaning out your pores and all that stuff. This is my backup because I have a couple pads left from the last one. I bought this in the sale because it is quite expensive for just 60, but it does obviously last me two months using it at night, once a night. And I do feel like it does actually make a difference to the texture and tone of my skin um, every night. And it gets my skin prepped and ready for all the other products, which I'm so thankful for. And I would I would keep repurchasing this for as long as my skin needs it. It's a tried and true um, product that I absolutely love. So that is it. I hope you stuck around for the whole thing and you enjoyed my ramblings. If you have any questions, just hit me up here in the comments um, or on Instagram. I'll have that on the screen now and linked below. Um, feel free to reach out to me with any questions or um, things you want me to try or any questions you have about the products. Again, I hope you like this video. Please uh, like and subscribe and turn on notifications for every single time I post. And I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.